Hi everyone, it's Megan from the Attleboro Public Library. I'm here um, creating this video today to show you how to make our week three take and make craft uh, for grades two through eight. This week is um, Harry Potter themed. We're gonna make Harry Potter themed jars um, that have fairy lights in them. So here is my example of the craft. And so you'll see that um, you get a mason jar uh, you're going to add a label to it. So this is a Cornish Pixie. Um, and then you're going to paint the outside of the jar, add um, your tag on there, and put some fairy lights inside so that it lights up. So it's a cute little craft. Um, it can be a little tougher for um, the younger kids, like maybe the second, third graders, fourth graders, just because the label can be a little bit difficult to get off the backing paper. But I'm going to show you how to... Um, work with that. All right, so younger kids might need their adult help, um, but this is just a fun little craft um, and great for kids who love Harry Potter. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna get started. We first need our decal and our mason jar, which needs to be clean and dry. Grab a corner of that decal and begin to pull it back. You want to make sure that the decal is coming off onto the gridded plastic sticky sheet and not staying on the white um, backing sheet. Let's see what happens when that doesn't work the way we want it to. So when you try to remove the backing tape with the grid line um, to remove your decal. Sometimes the decal does not stick to the gridded paper as it's supposed to. See that leg is still there. When I create the decals, I do use a tool that presses down um, really hard so that the decal of the dragon will actually stick to this sticky paper. But sometimes because the sticky paper can't have too hard of a grip, otherwise it wouldn't come off on the glass on the glass, um, it does not stick to the um, top sheet as you'd want it to. So what you can try to do is try a different corner. See how this one did lift and it came with the sheet, although it's coming off a little bit. So really the most important thing to do would be to take something with a hard edge. So I have a specific tool here that I use, but you could use a credit card, a license, like any, just anything um, that has a hard edge or a piece of cardboard, something, use your finger and press it down more to really stick it on there. But you need to get that decal to stick to this top gridded sheet and not be on the white. So again, just you know, use the tool, press down really hard, um, rub all over it like this. Uh, I'm not really giving it any force right now, but press down hard on it so that it sticks, and then try again to lift it up. So I just went ahead and rubbed all over the decal with my tool. Um, again, you can use a credit card, whatever has a hard edge. And you'll see now, as I pull carefully, the decal is sticking to the um, plastic grid top sheet here. And so that is what you want, so that when you pull it off, it all goes with it. And then what you end up with, is the decal on this gridded sheet. That is the most important part because that is how you are then going to place the decal onto the glass. And then what you need to do is press down hard again um, with your finger, with that same hard edged um, you know, object that you've got to get the decal to stick to the glass mason jar. Okay, so now we're back to the example with the Cornish Pixie. I have placed my decal onto the um, glass mason jar the way that I like it. So now I'm gonna press down with my finger and then I'm going to again use my hard edged tool. Again, you can use a credit card or whatever you have at home to press down so that now I can lift the backing of the plastic and my decal will stay nicely onto the glass. As you lift that plastic grid sheet off, you wanna make sure that all of the pieces of your design are staying stuck to the glass. If they don't, place the grid sheet back over the design 
and press down until it does, until you can successfully lift off that backing, um, leaving the design on the glass. Okay, now it's time to paint. So I took my glass, it's got the decal on it. You wanna make sure that you do not paint before you put on the decal. It will not stick if the glass has been painted. So put your decal on first and then go in and sponge paint. You've been prov provided with paint, acrylic paint, as well as a sponge um, so that you can go in. I chose to sponge paint around the decal. I didn't want the, um, black of the decal to be less clear so I tried to keep the paint off of it as much as I could and I just went around and painted the whole jar. So now just let your jar sit until it's completely dry. You've been given a tag and a piece of twine so you can go ahead and wrap that around the top and put in your fairy lights and your design is complete. Congratulations!